Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the stream, welcome back to another video. And another day of working on this guy right here. That is the 148th scale F15E becoming an F15K. Um, this one is by Great Wall Hobbies. Yes, here we are, let's get started. So, what did we do last time? Well, we got our lower fuselage done. Remember, the cockpit's all done, that's ready to go. A little bit of work on just cleaning up the, the seam line that's right there. There was not a lot to do, I just put a little bit of CA glue on there, sanded it down, made sure to rescribe my couple of little panel lines that do go across there, and we're all good to go on that. Um, did a little bit of sanding on the bottom here, rescribed this line here, and that's it, and that's all I needed to do. I did put a little bit of putty along the seam for the for the nose cone, just to um, just so the gap isn't so deep, right? So that when I do put my panel liner in there, it doesn't just go and disappear into that big crevice, right? So that's all I did there. This is all done, ready to be set ready to be put in when that time comes. So we got our intakes put in on the lower fuselage and now we're moving on to the next step. Which <clears throat> in doing so I realized the Tamiya 148 F15 the the lower wings are actually one piece with the lower fuselage. It's all one. And well these guys have decided to go with separate pieces. And that's nothing wrong with that. So I've already taken these off the sprues, and so we want to line these up. There's a bunch of location holes along each side, which in theory lines up with the pins. So let me change the camera for you so we can get a good look as I go along doing this. And here we are. <coughs> okay, so we got a little lines up pretty good. It actually kind of holds itself in place. That's cool. Let's take a look here. There's no real gaps. I don't think I'm going to have any problem. So let's throw some glue on that one. I'm going to move my little engine out of the way here. So, slap some glue on there. <clears throat> Line this back up. Just like that. Okay. I kind of do want to use some clamps of some sort here. Let's uh, grab my bag of clips. <clears throat> Just to help keep it in place if I can. Hmm. Too small. How about this guy? Yeah, I like that. Little guy could probably go up here. Yep, that works. That'll hold it. Alright, good. Now, I think I want to do some extra thin just along this line here just to give it a little extra extra because that's kind of giving me a bit of a gap and so if I can just make sure 
if that's going to stay and be held together, then I want to do that. I want this to basically be pretending that it's all one piece. You know what I mean? Of course you know what I mean. Okay, so that's one side. So let's get clips ready for the second side. Do I have another big one? Oh, I got a really big one. This guy can go back here, no problem. <clears throat> it appears to be the only medium-sized clip I have is this one. That's okay. All right, let's test fit this side first. I'm assuming it's going to be just as easy. Everything's going to line up. Yep. Oh, and it even holds itself too. That's cool. Let's check our fitment here. This side seems to fit just a little bit better as I'm not seeing any gaps. So here I can see there's a little bit of a gap right basically from here to here. I can see it's not super tight against there. But this side seems to be nice and tight and flush all the way. So that's alright. So some glue on here. Okay, a little clip up front here. Big clip on the back. All right. I think what I might do is run some Vallejo. putty along there on both edges just for consistency sake but a little too much glue I've got glue sticking out there um, just to fill in that gap because in the real thing you don't have a gap and so I want to make sure It's all good. All right. So this is probably going to be taken off now. Nice thing about Tamiya glue is it dries pretty quick. close that gap just by squeezing a little bit. You know what I mean? Of course, this, you know what? I just thought of it. Um, I'm probably not going to have to worry about this gap because this is an F-15E, so I've got big pods that go across there. If this were a C, I'd have to worry about it. But this is an F-15E. And I just realized I got a little nasty looking nub there. Yeah, um, there's going to be these big pods going across there, so I'm not going to have to worry about that. 
Um, let me put some of this away now. I don't need all my clips out in my way. Um, yeah, because there's going to be These big things, these are going to go along the sides here. Let's get those off. Or at least one anyway. Okay. So this guy, he's going to go along uh, like this. Right? And so it's going to cover up any imperfections along here. It's going to be covered by him like this. Something similar to that fashion. So, yeah, I don't have to put any putty. I don't even have to worry about this line. In fact, it could have glue all gooping out of there all you wanted. But it doesn't matter because this is going to go like that. However, it's going to actual sit, I don't know, but we'll figure that out when the time comes. Anyway, okay, so that's done. Wings are on. Next we have our photo etch stuff they want us to put on the sides. Basically in this little spot here and on here. So we need PE, we need A6. Let's find those move my stuff around, find our PE parts, Staples out. Okay. All right. So, oh, hello, Mega Boy. <laughs> high plus. <laughs> yeah, high plus. <laughs> um, so we want A6. This is not what we're looking for. So it's going to be these guys here. All right, so it looks like we have double-sided on our photo etch. If I can get the film off of it. protective plastic on both sides. So I'll just do the one side for now. I'm not even going to bother with, well maybe I should. I'm going to get my glass out here. Let's do this right. Let's do it right. Get a piece of glass <clears throat> so that it doesn't flex. It's very easy for the photo etch to bend, and that's not what we want. Now, I would say, I would propose this is kind of a 
useless detail as far as if you're like oh I this is really awesome that they added photo etch um, I would say this is kind of it's not really it's definitely not needed to photo etch these things definitely not required. This is not like a high level of detail art. Um, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> so, Um, case in point, these are the, the, like the reflector lights that you see on these modern aircraft all the time. They're located here and they're located on the, on the front fuselage. Now, it's right here. It's molded in. If I can get the angle right, you can see it, um, right about there. You can see it. Right there. Right? Um, you see them all the time. They're all molded in. They always do that. So why did they decide to put photo etch on the back of this? When they could have easily just done that. It's kind of like, oh, look at the great detail. Well, what for? You don't need it. You don't need that level of detail. Brand new bottle of CA glue. This happens to be the, the thinned version. So, I'm not used to using the thin. I usually use the thicker stuff, but that's okay. My thick stuff finally became too thick to use. So, the big thing is going to be location. They actually are giving me measurements of exactly where it's supposed to go. So, we're going to measure up from what piece of detail. They don't really show me they show it as if the wing's already on. So I'm going to put it at that panel line. bit of, I think it's going to be a little bit of trial and error and hopefully not a lot of dropping the pieces. And I see you can see my nubs on them so I need to clean those up. I'm not going to be able to live with myself if these pieces have the little tiny nubs sticking up. So I need to clean them. do that just by filing them down.
that's done to my satisfaction now. So, I'm going to line this up on here, but we want it turned around. And we want, ah, I'm going to have to file them all at once. So my glue might just might dry in there, that's fine, I don't care, because I want to do this right. Sometimes goes a long way. In doing this, I was not planning on spending a lot of time cleaning up the photo edge for this video, but it's obviously what I'm winding up doing. Sometimes you get into these things and you wind up having to do stuff you didn't plan on doing. And well, that's well, it's kind of part of life, isn't it? That one is nicely cleaned up. Last one. You know, the nice thing about this photo etch is it's soft enough to clean up just with a file like that. Sometimes it files away just nicely and clean. There we go. Alright, now I'm happy with them. Okay. Let's get back to actually getting it located. Okay. So... Let's grab this short one first. Let's start with the side that we were supposed to start on. <clears throat> okay, so this needs to be turned around like so. It's basically going to go like that, and then we're going to take this side, and we're supposed to leave just a little bit of a gap, and it's basically, this is how it's going to go, like that. Now, my hope is that I'm going to, the glue is going to let me play with it long enough to sit them in the right spots. know with thin CA glue it's probably not gonna let me play with it too much before it sets Let's try that. Tiny little bit of pressure. Okay, let's move this one out of the way so I can glue it.
Oke. Okay. There we have it. Okay. Now just how strong of a bond that is, I don't know. How about not bond? Not strong at all. <laughs> wow. What's going on here? Maybe not enough glue? Let's get a little bit more. I'm going to leave that out down here just in case I need more. So let's get these back on here and let's try this again. I was not expecting them to lift up with my finger. After pressing them down. Okay, let's try this again. A little more glue this time. Build it up a little thicker. And there we go. Okay, let's try this. The fact that this one just moved is telling me this glue is not nearly as fast acting as my memory says it is. Oops, oops. Okay, that's the spot I want them in. Let's try a little bit of the accelerator. Now, in theory, that's held. In theory. And I just moved it with my finger.
these don't want to stay. This glue sucks. What kind of stupid CA glue is this? It doesn't hold anything. Look at that. This is terrible shit. Sorry for my swearing. Yeah, and just rub it right off. Clean it right up with my finger. What kind of garbage is this? Here I am wondering why the glue is not working. My CA glue. And you know why? Because this is debonder. This is not CA glue. This whole time I've been trying to glue this on with debonder. Where's my CA glue? I can't believe I was just trying to use debonder to glue it together. That is just a whole nother level of sad. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's all I can say as well. So. Let's get rid of the debonder out of my little cup here. <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to remove that altogether. I'm going to use the new, the new side. I don't even know if I've opened this one yet. Yes, I have. Okay, let's get some CA in here. Talk about a new newbie mistake. Okay, now starting with actual CA glue, <laughs> let's try this again. I just might, you know, out of embarrassment, I just might remove all that out of um, <laughs> out of the video that is so bad wow okay so back to the drawing board I'm going to put these back on here Or maybe I'll just drop it on the floor and it'll disappear and I don't ever have to worry about it. That is now going to be a problem of finding that. Oh, take a minute, have a breather, respond to a text message. Take a break. <sighs> okay. So, let's try this again. Glasses off so we can see. Put this on here. Okay, grab our next piece. in the position so that I know I just have to slide them into place. Now, this glue is so thin that my little needle doesn't even pick it up. Which I'm not used to. I'm used to the thicker stuff, right? All right.
sure it's going to be kind of straight. There we go. Okay. You know, at this rate, I'm going to have to end it just after getting this installed. Because of how long this takes. And it's not your guys' fault, and it's not the kids' fault, it's not that, it's all me. This is all me. I think I got enough on there now. it into place nicely this time where I want it. Press test. Hey, it's sticking this time. And just to seal the deal. Drop a CA or a accelerant on there just to help it out. stuck this time. Yay! There we go. <laughs> They're finally on there. Just like that. Okay. That's one side. That's one side. And that's where I have to end the video now because this took me so long just to do that. And that kind of sucks because I wanted to do more before having to head out. So I'm going to have to do the other side later. Let's get them off my book so I don't fling them somewhere. So I've got to do the other side. And then we're going to do that. But that's going to have to be later because I'm run out of time here. And that really sucks. i got to head out. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to end it here, guys. I'm sorry about that. Clean that up out of there. Um, I want to do more, but I can't. I have to go. I wasn't expecting to spend so much time on all that photo etch. So, I'm going to have to leave it here. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you for coming out. Thank you for the compliments on the cockpit. Nico, thank you very much. And, uh, yes, this is where I'm going to leave it here for now, guys. And I want to thank you for watching. Thanks for coming out. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Comment down below. Check out my Instagram. Descriptions or links in the description box. And we'll see you all in the next one.